Vas-y, PG. Everest of the pit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, without control, Galatians 522. Do not be like me because with the love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the street corners. But 
get up until they receive their reward in the poor. When you pray, go to your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in heaven who is unseen. The Father who sees what you've done in secret will reward you. And when you bid keep on babbling on like the pagans do, for they think they'll be heard because of their many words. Don't be like them, for the Lord knows what you want before you ask Him. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. If you forgive men who sin against you, the Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, you too will not be forgiven. When you fast, don't look somber like the hypocrites do. They disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting. At any the day, they receive the reward of God. But when you fast, put oil on your hair, wash your face, so it doesn't look obvious to men that you are fasting unless to unless to the Lord. When the Father sees what you've done in your secret, He will reward you. Do not store your sands, treasures, or on earth, but uh, moth and rust destroy everything is breaking and steel. But store your sands, treasures in heaven with Moth and us do not destroy my face, do not break in and steal. Well, your treasures is your heart will be there also. The eye is a lamp, uh, the eye is a lamp for the body, the eyes for the whole body will be full of light, but if the eyes are the whole body will be full of darkness. If the light in your body is darkness, how great is that darkness? Nobles have two masters. Either hate one love the other, or devoted to one and despise the other. No one can serve both God and money. Therefore, do not worry about life, what you eat or drink, or about your body, what you want. Is it not life more important than food and body more important than clothes? Um, look, look at the birds in the end. They do not sow or reap or store their food in barns, but, but the Father in heaven feeds them. Aren't you more valuable than who of you by body can add a single hour of them to their lives? And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the lilies in the valleys. Look at the lilies in the fields. They do not labor or spin. And yet, not even Solomon in all his splendor, just like one of these. If the Lord clothes the grass and the fields are like this, which are here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? So do not worry over your day to day. So do not worry. Uh, say, what shall I eat? What shall I drink? What shall I wear? Only Time is about of these things, but the Father knows what you need them. The first, uh, seek for the kingdom and his righteousness, and these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Do not judge others, so you too will be judged. In the same way you judge, you will be judged. In the same way you will measure, you too will be measured. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye when this? and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me take a speck out of your eye when there's a plank in your own eye? You hear me, but first take the plank out of your own eye to see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Don't throw to dogs what is sacred. Don't throw your purse to pigs. So they may trample on them, turn to you. They may turn to you and tear you to pieces. Ask and be given to seek and you find not the door will be open to you. Anyone who asks to seek and anyone who seeks that anyone who knocks the door will be open to you. Who of you, if your son asks you for bread, gives him a stone, or if he asks you for fish, give him a snake? If, if then, though you are evil, know how to give your children good gifts, what more will the Father in heaven give to those who ask him? Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. For the small is the gate, and narrow is the road that leads to life. Only a few find it. Watch out for false prophets. They come in like sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious birds. By their fruit you can recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, every bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Mm, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Thus, by that fruit, you will recognize them. Not everyone who comes to my father says, God, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my father in heaven. Many will come to me saying, Lord, Lord, uh, we prophesied in your name, in your name, we drove our demons and um, and did miraculous signs. But I will say to them plainly, I don't know you, away from me, you evil doers. Therefore, I think one who, but then I will put to my word and put them into practice like a wise man who built his house on a rock. Um, the rain fell down the 
those chains rose. The wind blew and beat against the house, but it did not fall because his foundation put on the rock. Therefore, those who list the word and do not put it into fact, it is like a wise man, it is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. After he had been saying all these things, um, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with them one with authority, uh, not as the teachers of the law. Cheek too. If someone 
from the two of you for your shirt. Let him have your coat as well. If, someone, uh, if one of the occupational troops forces you to carry his pack one kilometre, carry it two kilometres. If someone wants to borrow something, give it, lend it to him. When someone asks you for something, give it to him. You have heard this, you have also heard that it was said, love your friends, hate your enemies. But now I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may become the sons of your Father in heaven. Before he makes the sun to shine on good, bad and good people alike, and gives rain to those who do good and those who do evil. Why should God reward you if you only love the people who love you? Even the tax collectors do that. And have you done anything out of the ordinary if you talk only to your friends? Even the pagans do that. You must be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Make certain that you do not perform your religious duties in public so that people see what you do. If you do these things publicly, you will not have any reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give something to a needy person, do not be like the hypocrites. Um, do not make a big show of it, as the hypocrites do in the, on the street corners and on the, in the houses of worship. They do it so that people will praise them, and I assure you that they have already been paid in full. So when you do give something to a needy person, do it in such a way that not even your closest friends will know about it. Then it will be a private matter, and your father who sees what you do in private will, be, will reward you. So um, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. They love to stand up and pray in the houses of worship and the street corners. They do it so that people will see them. And I assure you that they have already been paid in full. When we, so when you pray, go to your room, close the door, and pray to your father in heaven who is unseen. And your father who sees what you do in private will reward you. Uh, when you pray, do not use a lot of meaningless word, words like the pagans who think that their gods will hear them because their prayers are long. Um, do not be like them. Your father already knows what you need before you ask him. This then is how you should pray. pray. Our Father in heaven, may your holy name be honoured. Uh, may your kingdom come, your may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us the wrongs we have done as we forgive the wrongs that others have done to us. Give us, uh, do not bring us to hard testing, but um, keep us safe from the evil one. If you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, for your Father in heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive the wrongs that you have done. Um, when you fast, do not put on a sad face like the hypocrites do. They neglect their appearance so that people will see that they are fasting. But when you go without food, um, wash your face, comb your hair, and um, so that people will not know that you are fasting. And your only your father who is unseen, and your father who sees what you do in private will, will reward you. Do not store up riches for yourselves here on earth, when moss, moths and rust, rust destroys, and robbers break in and steal. Instead, store up riches for yourself in heaven, where moths and rust cannot destroy, and robbers cannot break in and steal. Your eyes are like a lamp, for, uh, for your heart will always be where your riches are. Your eyes are like a lamp for your body. If your eyes are sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are no good, um, your whole body will be full in will be in darkness. So if the light in you is darkness, how terribly dark it will be. No one can be a slave of two masters. He will hate one and love the other. He will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and man. This is why I tell you not to be worried about the food and drink you need in order to stay alive or the clothes for your body. After all, isn't your life isn't life worth more than food and isn't your body worth more than clothes? Look at the birds. They do not sow seeds, gather the harvest of and put it in barns, and yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Um, Aren't you, aren't, aren't, aren't you what worth more than birds? Can any of you live longer by worrying about it? And why worry about clothes? Look how the wildflowers go. Bro, they do not work or make clothes for themselves. And um, But I tell you, not even King Solomon with all his wealth had clothes as beautiful as these flowers. It is God who clothes, clothes to the grass. Um, grass that is here today and gone tomorrow, burnt up in the oven. Won't you be all the more sure to clothe you? How little faith you have. So do not start worrying. Where will my food come from, or my drink, or my clothes? These are, these are the things that pagans are always concerned about. about but the, well, your father knows that you need all these things. But above anything else, 
will be concerned about the kingdom of heaven and what he requires of you, and he will provide you with all these other things. Um, so do not start worrying about tomorrow, it will have enough worries of its own. Do not add, there is no need to add to the trouble each day brings. Do not judge others so that God will not judge you, for he will judge you the same way as you judge others, and apply to you the same rules as you apply to others. Um, so how, why did you... So why do you say, uh, so, um, uh, well, why do you say, um, so, why do you look at the blood speck in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the log in your own eye? Um, how do you, uh, dare you say to your brother, let me take that out the speck in your eye when you have a log in your own eye? Um, you hypocrite, first take out the speck, uh, the log in your eye and then you'll be able to see clearly to take out the speck in your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to dogs. They will only turn around and attack you. Do not throw pearls in front of the pigs. They will uh, only trample them underfoot. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Um, for any, every, anyone who asks will receive. And he who and anyone who seeks will find. And he who knocks and the door will be opened to he who knocks. Um, so, and those of you who are far, would any of you who are fathers give a stone if, uh, to your son when he asks for bread, or will you give him a snake when he asks for fish? As bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children. So, um, when, how much more will your Father in heaven give to those who ask, ask him? Um, do for others what you want them to do for you. This is the meaning of the laws of Moses and the teachings of the prophets. Uh, go through the narrow gate, because the, the gate to hell is wide, and the road that leads to it is easy, and there are many who travel it. Um, but the gate to life is easy, the, the gate to life is hard, and the road to it is narrow, and there are few who find it. Um, be on your guard against false prophets, um, because they come to you looking like sheep on the outside, but in, on the inside they are really like wild wolves. You will know them by what they do. Thorn bushes cannot bear grapes, and, um, and briars cannot bear figs. A healthy tree cannot uh, bear good fruit, and a poor tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a poor tree cannot bear good fruit. So, and any tree that cannot bear good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. So then you will know um, the prophet, false prophets by what they do. Um, many will come to me. Many will come to me and say, "Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who do what my father, my father wants them to do. Um, my father wants them to do." Um, and so on that on judgment day, many will come to me saying, "Lord, Lord, in your name we." spoke God's message and by your name we drove out many demons and um, by your name we drove out many demons and performed many miracles and I will tell them get, um, I never knew you get away from me you wicked people so anyone who hears these words of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock the rain fell down and the rivers overflowed and the wind blew hard against the rock but it did not fall because it was built on rock and, but anyone who hears these words of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain poured down and the uh, rivers overflowed and the wind blew hard against the house and it fell because it was, and it fell. What a terrible fall that was. When Jesus had finished um, saying these things, uh, saying these things, the crowd was amazed at the way he taught. He was not like the teachers of the law, but instead he taught with authority. Praise the Lord, I'm going to sing a song. We worship Jesus, lifted high, a banner that flies across this land. That other men see the truth and know He is the way to heaven. We want to see Jesus, lifted high, a banner that flies across this land. That other man sees a truth I know He is the way to heaven We want to see We want to see We 
By this time, George Wesley was also preaching in open air, following the example. The movement took on the name Methodist. Both Whitefield and Wesley were persecuted, pelted with stones, and dared or worse to have a dead cat hurled at their heads. George Whitefield was the most travelled preacher of the gospel up to his time, and many feel he was the greatest evangelist of all time. Making 13 trips across the Atlantic Ocean was a feat in itself, for it was a time when sea travel was primitive. This meant he spent over two years of his life traveling on water, 782 days. However, his deliverance and sacrifice helped him to turn two nations back to God. On se September 30, 1770, during his seventh visit to America, George Whitefield died in the Presbyterian Parsonage at Newburyport, Massachusetts. He raised a great amount of money for the care of orphans and the poor, and he helped to establish several educational institutions. Thank you.
Bye-bye.